So what are we like? What are the good hands here? What what, what are we hoping to see? <laughs> Whatever like, goes the fastest. I mean, well, is it the fastest here? Because if you go too fast, like, so in this one, Matt is again the control player, right? But well, so nowadays, living in has control elements too. So yeah, but you're, I think you're going to be at a disadvantage with. Living in, you're going to keep the hand size that's fairly high. You're going to have to play your lands. Right. And if you living in, your opponent just outburst on his turn and kills right. all your creatures yeah. and your lands. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, the more I'm thinking about this, I don't know if it's a good matchup for living in. Like I said, I'm very interested in seeing yeah. this, and we'll this is going to be... We, we may have bonus coverage. <laughs> we may have bonus coverage. Yeah. We might have nothing happening for tall turns. <laughs> right, yeah. This might go to time and go to turns as well. Ooh, the Nahiri and Embercool on the mulligan hand. <laughs> and a restore and balance. Restore, that was trash. Well, this is the other side of the hands that we've seen with Let's that. See what, uh, put your hand up, John. Let's see what, what you got. What you're working with. I bet it's cycling carts. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's not, uh, it's not wrong. So, uh, what really pushed this psych, uh, living in deck to tier one? Do you think it was just the turtle or the um, well, uh, Shardless Agent? Like, the carts that oh. came out recently are Shardless Agent and right. Colossal well, Shardless Sky Agent turtle. pushed it to be just real. Like, a real, real thing. I don't know how much the turtle has pushed it. I think it's They're playing too. That definitely sounds, helps. I mean, ooh, the force negations. You got to think about that card now too. Yeah. I don't think fire ice is where you want to be on this. No, no, that's a dead card. But he's yeah, still, land border post. You got what he needs. A border post. Keep the prismatic. That seems like a powerful. Could be. All right, here we go. We're off. Cycle Street Race. Yeah. Cycle Street Race. We're going to fetch, play the border post, and see if we're going to get a force negation. I actually kind of like the force negation on the mulligan here. Yeah, it's a it's a lot. It's pretty damning. Yeah, and he needs. Uh, I mean, he needs them <laughs> in a pretty big way. So, yeah, this actually might go towards living in just because of the force and negations. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The control elements that living in now has is is pretty. And he's playing the powerful. full four. And he's got the grief is a thing too, you know. He also has two Force of Vigor sideboard. Mm -hmm. So this, like I said, this could just be one-sided on either side. It's hard to tell. Yeah, this is definitely an example of the, the realities of variance for sure. Looks like we're just cycling away here. So what you do, you cycle, and then you cycle some more. In fact, the violent outburst is instant. Oh, it's... Gross, yeah. <laughs> Cycle. Do we have second land? Probably in somewhere in that grip. Yep. Yep. Otawara. I mean, he's got his shit in line. Yeah, he has everything he needs. The yeah, uh, backup outburst. This is, this is going yes. John pretty handily. I think we're going to have some bonus coverage. Yeah, I wouldn't have necessarily favored Restore Balance at all. Yeah, and this is a, a definite example of why. <laughs> Chose this because I figured to be. I just hadn't seen it. This is a kind of a. Well, we do have, we have disputes in the sideboard to ferry one. Demonic Dread. Another border post. 
Another cycle. You decks are so, so funny. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Uh, messing with us. Nothing for Play. three turns. But, oh, we're Two doing turns. something. Right. Our mana is being used, not effectively, but... The fact oh, that we don't have a untapped to, third land. The fact that he is to always just keep a full hand with force negations is a big deal. Yeah. Because he's going to be able to force no problem, with no issue, He's at all. two border posts in a row. So Matt's definitely going to have to try to do this at instant speed. On his opponent's turn to yeah. play around force yeah, negation. exactly. And Matt's pretty good at playing around such things like that. I'm not sure if he knows what these lists look like now. I mean, he's seen John in here playing this yeah. a few weeks ago, so he should be pretty well aware. Are, is he keeping it up, or is he just going to pass here? It's one of those weird parts where restore balance is actually giving your opponent's cards in the graveyard matters. Right. right. Looks like he did pass here, so he's keeping it up just in case. I mean, shoving him off of lands. So, well, doing two. upkeep would have been good. I kind of hope he plays another land. Yeah. And step on the violent outburst. Well, John can just cast the force, which is a bummer. You know, you know, is he letting it go? Okay. I think you let it go. So he can... And then you cast it in response to the... Well, you let the... Float the mana and let the restore balance. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you just force negation yeah. the... Yeah, you just force it. I got rid of the one. I actually... Anyone play border posts? Play land for turn? Yeah, now he's kind of stuck. He doesn't have a whole lot to do now. Without another, if he had another cascader or drew another cascader, that would have been good. But that would have been the thing. But now I think John's going to get to do whatever the hell he wants. He's got enough shit in his graveyard. That's only going to be one turn. Yeah. <laughs> Turtle, turtle. The fact that that thing can... That thing buys back any card, right? Yeah. Buying back Force Negation? Whew. Jeebus. There's more Chris command. Mari command. Can Crawl make, two, discard two, make, make treasure. treasure, yeah. Two damage won't mean anything. That I think he's does. thinking about outbursting here. Nope. I think he just got rid of Land Fire Eyes. Yeah. Got a Valkyrie Awakening. It's probably a little, a little too slow for the situation. Yeah. He does have lot. four greater Gargadons that could eventually end up in graveyards. Right. But other than that, we don't have a lot. And what's his sideboard? Uh, his sideboard is. Speech, speech within and get yours. Whisper Mare. Speech Whisper Mare. To Fairy. Demonic Dread. Nothing great, but the disputes are always good. Is what he really needs. But he only is playing one of those. On the other side, we have three Endurance, Mystical Pursuit, Force of Vigor. I think it's the going to be the big one there. Yeah. Get another Border Post down. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be valicating to try to dig into something at the end of John's turn if John doesn't just make it That's happen. an instant. Yeah. Oh, that's a waking Yeah. Every time I see that card, it makes me think it's a little better than it should be. Not really played as much as I'd hoped, though. No, it's three mana. You know. Well, he's gonna be like, oh, well, we're gonna end this game. Oh, no, he's turtling back the force negation. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's smart. That's, that's super smart. Yeah, match dead. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we say that, though, he wins somehow. So yeah. I'm gonna hold out to to say that till he's actually dead. I suppose that's dead. fair, but man, he looks pretty fucking dead. <laughs> he does, <laughs> but <laughs> he he Valka's awakening draws three, gets two cyclers right. or two 
Cascaders. It's just John just gets to do his first. And that's what matters. Well, it has to do an instant speed. No, he didn't. He, yeah, no, he does have to do an instant speed. So he's not doing it this turn. He knows he's got to do an instant speed too. So yeah, that's one of those things you, know, you don't have the option of waiting around. Like, okay, that's good. Grief like him. That. Grief is another huge thing that helped. I actually, that's probably one of the things that really helped this deck get to where it's at now. Is the is grief? That. Yeah. Grief is fucking is pretty huge. So now you're just hoping to draw three cascade spells. Evolving Wild, Border Post, oh Border Post. Goodness. I don't think you're taking any of those. You may, may as well take a Border Post, I suppose. Can't, Can't take the that. Wilds. Yeah. That's what he's got. Uh, I think this is now dead. I, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah, the Valley could have had a chance to give him something, but not anywhere near enough. Yeah. He doesn't have an extra blue card or another land, so that's the only awkward part here. Right. Oof. Matt's just drawing nothing. Not going well on the draw steps for him. All right. And now John gets to just do it. Yeah, he's got a shardless, so he can. Pass oh, he does course. have shardless. Yeah. Okay, I, I thought so, that yeah. was another outburst. I was like, I yeah, thought he... this is it, and Matt's dead because he's gonna have more than enough power. More to than help. enough power. Gross. That's how the game goes. Thought C two again. Why up? Why up? Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Just made him count. Just count to 20. All right. Yeah, um, this is going to be hard for Matt. This is going to be very hard for Matt. Uh, I think the force of figures or something that we're going to see brought in by Living End. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, John just just has, border post. John just has so much shit already in his main, and then clubs cards like that out of sideboard, and Matt just does not have... <laughs> He needs a, he needs more to fairies. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm not even sure what the current is for. What's the text on Whis, uh, Whisper Mayor? It blows up artifacts or enchantments. It doesn't do anything except maybe blows up a turtle. He was looking at endurances. That's one thing that Matt wants is endurances, but he just hasn't been able to pick them up yet. Uh, teacher's that would, be, that would be huge. <laughs> yeah. You would have reminded me I would have brought some in for him. Yeah. Yeah, any of the pitch elementals you got are great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just fucking jam them in there. I mm -hmm. think you don't want the cool. <laughs> no, yeah, that's super dead. Fire ices aren't doing shit. I take those out. Yeah, I mean, I guess frosting their their lands maybe, but that's we seems... even ran to that where he could have, and I just don't think it was relevant. No, I think it's really coming down to the griefs and the force negations here. Yeah, are the, are the things that are going to keep Matt from being able oh, to just leave that fury in Matt? Yeah, leave those in. Yeah, pitch elementals in this. Leave the fury. You don't even have that many things to bring in. He's going to keep the general rocker rook? I mean, yes. Or is this what he's taking out? Oh, you have to take out Tezzer right here. That's just way too slow. Okay, he's just determining. Yeah, I think that's... You want the disputes. Yeah, and you want three fairy. Four, so that's what it was. Yeah, those are all, those are all fine cuts. Yeah. Got to shave some stuff. I do but... think that this is definitely in John's favor for sure, just with how much... How much control he already has naturally in the deck's main. It's gonna be super hard for Matt to to get his thing to happen when he needs it to. You think Fortune Negation is something Matt should be playing? Side or main? If the No, because he doesn't have if they would have printed the other border posts, that's the thing, like once the other border posts get printed, restore balance would be just as good as living in. Guarantee yeah. it. 
Once they have the right border post of all so the they colors have they need, access to more blue border posts to be more able to pitch. More blue and more green, so they can play force of will through force negation, also play endurance in their main. Like that's yeah, that's fair. Stuff's just not it's the it's just a little awkward. That's the only thing I really I've, I've said it before. That's a, the big thing that I think is really holding that deck back from being the powerhouse it could be is just the mana is not lining up the right way. Well, we've seen a lot of different uh, half cycles from Wizard of the Coast. Mm -hmm. And I know it tilts some people and other people really don't care. Right. I'm one of the people I think you should just complete the cycles in general. Yeah, no, absolutely. And so that's one thing that I did say. Like, I know why they didn't complete the border post cycle in Yuka Pendant because I like color set. Well, I like the lamp post. I never even thought of that. Um. But it's just like, where else? This is your shards. They're not going back to shards. Yeah. So, all right, there you go. He's got not the right mana. No. Nope. Not the right mana. He had all the right cards. Yeah, that's a big difference here in this match, too, is that living here. We got a Force has... of Vigor, which I think is a good one just to be able to keep. Oh, yeah. His land's a little rough, but you have two Anticipate Cyclers in your hand. Yeah, those things are amazing. Is he going to put that on bottom? He doesn't have anything to pitch to it, so he has less things to pitch to it. He's just shipping the the entire thing. thing. Yeah, the other nice thing about living it now is the mana is is pretty clean, you know? Yeah. It may may not be quite perfect, perfect, as everybody would want it to be, but it's, it's pretty fucking clean. Especially comparing these two decks together. This way cleaner than Matt's. When it comes to how tight this match has to be played, is the mana on Matt's side is a big downside. Yeah, having to play back. Uh, a lot basics. of matches. Yeah, a lot of matches he can just kind of muddle through and he's going to get there. But this match, no. <laughs> we have border <laughs> post there. Through. Yeah, we have one border post yeah, into a greater. Blue. He's got blue sources. He's got the mystical dispute. You got two board posts, got the Gargoyle. That's a pretty good hand. Would you got to put back? Yeah, it's perfect. Just throw us off. fire and ice fucking sucks here. I wish there was something else he had to bring in. Like, if that would have been... I don't know. Not anything else. <laughs> Plays out He's there. on the play, so... Ah, it's just, yeah, it's just too awkward. It's not going to matter. Tapping the land down against this deck is not going to matter because he's going to be like, well, I cycle in response. <laughs> yep. So, it's just not doing anything. Yeah, it's one of those things. Everything he's doing is that instant speed. Who drew drew a living in for the turn? Oof. That's never where you want to be. No, 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 no. Only real bad draw in that deck is just your living ends. Well, and that's mitigated by grief. Yeah. Well, it's still not great because typically, yeah, you play three living ends. Every one you hit makes it that much harder yeah. to rebuild afterwards. For sure. But endurance, man, you can shuffle that shit back in if you really need to. Get that out. Oh, we got game one. Sorry about that, Dustin. Thanks for reminding me. We're still not great with this thing. All right, John. John. Got it. Thank you for reminding me. Got a couple more posts and the Garganon's down. If the Gargadon does come down, it's going to be bigger than anything else on the board. Yeah, but... the Living Edge is going to have too many things on the board. <laughs> Matt does not have enough creatures to deal with if a Living End resolves and gets everything in play. Oh. And if, uh, so we didn't see John's opening hand. I've only seen part of it. So yeah, Outburst. Adawara. Force of Vigor, there it He's is. got it. That sucks. Sacks from oh, both to Gargadon, which mitigates it a little, but... <laughs> that fucking sucks. That's... Losing two lands, that is... Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, I don't think Matt's going to be able to... I didn't know what this match would be. I didn't think it would be so one-sided. Um, we've had some... We've had some decent magic today. Some things could have been a little bit better, I think. Yeah. Game, match one, there was some screwing going on in one game, and then just some, a bit of variance pooping on people's parades, but not oh, the worst two. magic. 
interesting enough. Like, had some good back and forth. Yeah, we have had some good back and forth, and it'll definitely lead to some good magic later. I, Focus camera. I do wish I could see the rest of that uh, drawing down, too. Uh, I think PJ would have got there, but... Well, at least Matt has a live counter spell, so that's good. He has a second land here. Oh, he's just going to play out yeah. the border post. Got to do what you got to do on that. Just go for the outburst. What sucks about this is that Mystical Dispute just doesn't do anything, man. Yeah. And, and that, that clock is already... That one, oh no, the turtle's exile. So what is he got? He's got a grief. It's going to rip apart his hand. Yeah, this is... God damn, I did not think this was going to be so one-sided. He should have, though, I suppose. I really should have. So that's 10 power. So, yeah, I think Matt's pretty dead. <laughs> now he'd have to rip another land off top and... Yeah, it's not looking great. I'm trying to think of outs here. Sleeps, ooh, rips cascade spell. I guess counter magic in hand. He has forced negation and mystical dispute, I think. So I think this is a pretty much done deal. You land. Even if he drew the cascade spell, he has. There's counter magic in hand for backup. He grew the evolving wilds. I think that's GG. <laughs> yeah, that's game over. There's two counter spells in hand for John. That force of vigor. Whew. That that. That's probably hurt. more damning to the stick than Teferi can be sometimes. Yeah, those border posts are fragile. Yeah, I know. This deck really... This is a good example of what's stopping Restore Balance from being a deck. And all it would take to make it a deck. Because as soon as it got the right border posts... He's going to try to ice down one of the creatures... And it's getting disputed. Yep. That's that. Well, we can definitely probably have some bonus coverage, so I'm going to see where everybody's at. Yep.